guys, today I'm here with a what I eat in a day slash what I ate in a week slash what I ate on vacation slash slash what I ate when I had access to a buffet three times a day at an all-inclusive resort. So this by no means is gonna be similar to my other what I eat in a days, which I will have listed down below. Those are primarily what I eat in a day to lose weight. So if you're looking for ideas um, that are kind of more about portion control and just creative meals, as opposed to like any particular diet, that may be of interest to you. But if you wanna see me eat French fries and bacon every single day for seven days, then uh, this is the video for you. I will have my other videos from Antigua listed down below if you want to see more about my experience and where we stayed and all that good stuff but overall I got to say the food at this resort was the best resort food that I've ever had I've I've done Mexico and Cuba and this food was incredible the people were great and uh, it was quite a good experience so let's go ahead and get started Let's start at the scene of the crime, the buffet. This was the first day, so there was no breakfast, and I decided to try some of the local things they had on the menu. So there was like a kind of a beef stew, a Cajun butterfish. The next item was advertised as a, uh, an au gratin, a potato au gratin, but it was actually a lasagna. That is a coconut dumpling, and then corn, carrots, and spinach. Once completing that plate, we realized there was fries, so we shared some <laughs> fries and pineapple, get used to seeing fries, and we ended just about every meal with a sherbet or an ice cream, and this one was cherry, super good. In addition to the buffet, the resort had a la carte restaurants, which came with little cats. I love them so much. Uh, so we went to an a la carte just about every night. This one was a Caribbean seafood. I had calamari, cannot remember what my boyfriend had, and then we had snapper along with rice and beans and of course plenty of wine and then in keeping with the booze theme uh, that night we went and saw the steel drum band and had some super sugary i can't remember if this was rum or vodka or it might have even been a combination of the both I started every single day with coffee. This day I actually had it on the patio. I let my boyfriend sleep in on one day and then we hit up the buffet, which didn't really change much day to day. It got a little bit repetitive, but I mean, you know, it's a resort buffet. It wasn't that the food was bad by any means. So this day I had an omelet that was full of veggies along with some bacon, potato and beans. And if you don't like your food touching on your plate, then this is not the video for you. And we ended every meal with fruit. So I have some cantaloupe, honeydew, pineapple, and watermelon. And I tried to stay hydrated. We actually bought our water from a grocery store outside the resort as the resort recommended to us. It was uh, much cheaper and we did travel around every day and took water with us. And here's another restaurant cat. I was missing my cat. So I was hanging out with all these resort cats. Then back to the Caribbean seafood, the lighting's really bad, but it was actually a gorgeous location. I had spinach and cheese wontons and the crab cakes. We split the appetizers this day. And then the same kind of Cajun red snapper, a mango sauce and potatoes. This was so good. I had never had snapper before. I think it's quite expensive in Toronto, but it's uh, very available in the Caribbean. And then we had chocolate cake and mango sorbet. For breakfast this day, I had uh, beans, potatoes, onions, and peppers, along with scrambled eggs and bacon. My eyes were bigger than my stomach most days. I didn't always finish everything on my plate. And then again with the fruit, we have cantaloupe, watermelon, peach, and pears. And let me know if you've ever been to an all-inclusive. As someone with no dietary restrictions, and I'm not picky, it was pretty great. Um, this day for lunch, I had barbecue chicken thighs, coleslaw, zucchini, carrots, onions, fries, and then that was uh, in the corner there, this kind of creamed baby corn and mushrooms. And of course, had to have some, I believe this was mango sorbet. This evening we went to another a la carte restaurant. This one was the Mexican. I had a really delicious strawberry daiquiri. I can't remember what this is called, but I get it all the time. It's a big poblano pepper stuffed with cheese and deep fried, so freaking good. The taco was okay. It wasn't anything to call home about. Then had some corn and refried beans. This day when we were out exploring, we weren't near our resort, so we decided we're kind of stumbled upon this street food festival and we always like to try uh, authentic foods when we travel. So this was dumplings and very hard to eat lobster because we only had plastic forks, but it was very good. 
And then we're back at the Caribbean seafood. I got the spinach and cheese wonton again. My boyfriend got a tuna stuffed tomato and regretted it deeply. I was like, obviously the deep fried item is gonna be uh, much, much better. And uh, yeah, I loved that. For the meal, no surprise here, the red snapper again, mango sauce and potato and some vegetable. For dessert, this is probably the best thing we had. It was a passion fruit sorbet. It was incredible. For some reason, I still got chocolate cake, even though the cake wasn't that good the first time, but I just, I don't know, I couldn't resist. And this day for breakfast, I did beans, a crap ton of bacon and potatoes with uh, peppers and onions and tomatoes and mushrooms in there. And there's tons of mangoes on this island, like an insane amount of mangoes, but this was the only day the resort had mangoes, which was a little odd, but we definitely took advantage of that. Like I mentioned, we ended up saving a lot of money, I feel like, because we ate at our resort even when we were traveling around. We'd go back to our resort for lunch, but this day we were halfway across the island, so we stopped at this restaurant and spent an insane amount of money on like a calamari, a salad, and shrimp. But it was good, just far too expensive for what it was. And then on the way back to the resort, I, I saw some ice cream and we stopped for a strawberry ice cream cone. This evening, we went to the Italian a la carte. For some reason, I got potato and leek soup, even though it was so hot outside. Soup was great. And then this was advertised as something completely different. Essentially, it was Alfredo with fettuccine and mushrooms and Parmesan. It was good, nothing wrong with it, but again, not what it was advertised. And my boyfriend had something with tomato and shrimp. And for the main meal, this, this a la carte served so much food. There was flank steak with prosciutto, mashed potatoes, vegetables, and a really good kind of spicy bruschetta tomato salad. And for dessert, it was key lime sorbet, which was so good because it was really, really hot in the restaurant. Then this day for breakfast, we, uh, not we, I guess we, me, I had um, potatoes with vegetables again, plantain pancakes with jam, that was really good, and bacon. I can't resist bacon. I know, it's the worst for you, but you know, once a year, baby. Like I said, tons of mangoes on the street, so we decided to pick some up from some vendors along with these. You told me what they were in my vlog. There's a taste test in my vlog, I can't remember, but they tasted really good. This street mango, oh, it was so juicy, so sweet, the best mango I've ever had in my entire life. You can see my boyfriend hacking it apart there. It was incredible. Mangoes are expensive in Canada and there's like hundreds of dollars worth of mangoes just rotting on the streets of Antigua. For lunch this day, got some fried plantains. They were incredible. There's a sauteed butterfish, french fries, and a cucumber salad. That was my attempt at putting something green on my plate. They had coconut and mango ice cream this day and I couldn't choose so uh, she let me have both and I was pretty pleased about that. Back at the Italian restaurant, I did the salad bar instead of soup so I have some salami there, uh, prosciutto, a tomato and cucumber salad, mushrooms, artichokes and calamari and had the same kind of pasta sauce. It was an Alfredo with ravioli. The Parmesan was a little bit bizarre but it was good. And we also finished with that flank steak and key lime sorbet again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, but um, I was eating a bunch of food and I wanted to film it and I thought you may want to see it too. So uh, let me know down below if you have ever been to an all-inclusive, what you thought of the food, how did it go for you? And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.